All right, so if you guys can see this, <clears throat> we're at a uh, salon here, salon or massage place or something, whatever this is in Phoenix. And this is what I came came to here. Uh, I guess they can't connect it probably, I'm assuming, up to this uh, basket strainer. Maybe they don't know what to use or maybe it doesn't line up or something. So I'm gonna see if we can get them uh, fixed up here. All right, so the first thing I notice is that this is very, very loose here. And there's that's black water. Right. So we've got some other uh, tubular here that we're gonna try and tie on with. So our first order of business. Oh man, it smells like Drano or something, I think. See, is her drain clogged? No, it looks nice and clear over there. Man, that's, whew. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't have poured that out. Wow, that's really strong. So, we're just gonna try to get our distance because if we're gonna drop straight down here. All right, so we got a uh, flanged tailpiece here <clears throat> so we're gonna get this guy up here and make sure it's got a gasket in it oh man that whole thing is turning oh, man. who put this thing on here This needs to come off of here. I hate these things. I hate these things. I really hate these things. a double cup <clears throat> so it's actually got two cups on it and in my opinion this is a superior form of basket strainer and that's all that we use is that one there I'm oh, gonna have to take these gloves off We're really gonna we're really gonna work this soften it up really well just 
take a nice big chunk there and this really gets uh, softened up by the heat and the oil from your hands just got to keep on working it so we're going to give it a nice nice thick bead here Go all the way around make sure that we're nice and even so I could probably pretty good set it down in there and rock it back and forth a little bit smush it in this off rubber gasket first friction washer white face down cardboard up double cup lock nut settle just a little bit smush some of that out so in the meantime we'll size up our here this guy goes on here top washer on the top and we're just gonna dry fit so we're not gonna start cutting anything just yet we're just gonna fit it cut it on there hand tight and then we're gonna line up here where we would be everything remember everything's just dry okay so i'm going to take my knife and this is how i mark you can mark any way that you want to i just eyeball it here make sure that's where i want to be and then i just make one little tick mark there now we'll work on cutting it make all kinds of different cutters for this you can use any style cutter you want i just use a hacksaw the only negative to a hacksaw is that it creates a lot of dust or uh shavings from this it's the only thing but they do make a rounding cutter that will just cut it nice and smooth i did not grab that i do have one i just did not grab it sure that our cut is straight and then we'll get all the scuff off make sure that we're not holding up on anything okay and then we're going to put our nut down. I'm just going to dry fit all this in place. Perfect. 
that's going to need an extension as well because if you look at that that's the problem they were having that's what they couldn't figure out so we're going to get that all taken care of for them give this another turn after it's kind of settled a little bit looks good so far And we'll take our nut here. So we're just gonna again we're just gonna dry fit this into here, kind of see where where we need to be. We're gonna just trim off just a hair off of this. This one we're going to go face down and then this style already has a uh, washer in it so we're going to go all the way to the back with. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. That's okay. We're just going to trim a little more off of this. Make sure that we're... So look at that. Yep, we'll just trim off a little bit more. Let's see where we sit there. And remember, this is all just in here dry. None of this is... Permanent. We're just going to get all of our measurements first. And you know what? You know what's weird about this? Oh, it's hitting. You know why? That's why. Let's see if you can. Yep. That's why. Normally you should be able to slide it, but if you can see that, there's a little booger there. That it's hanging up on. Let's see if we can see that. I'm gonna cut that little booger off. I thought that was I thought that was strange because you should be able to slide it all the way back. Because it's going inside of the, oh, there's another one up high. Because it's actually going inside the pipe. So there should never be a time where it can't slide in there. Now let's see how we do. You know, maybe I've lost my mind then because it normally doesn't have a stop in there. I'm not sure why that's happening, but we'll just trim it off, make it easier on ourselves. I don't want to make this harder than it has to be. Put 
straighten it out here. And then we'll make our final cut. We'll get them sized up and we'll be good to go. So it looks like we need to take off about another half inch. So we're gonna take off half inch. off all the scuff burrs perfect perfect beautiful There we go, that's all good. It's on there good. 